Another signee has faxed his letter in, and we are excited to announce Larry Roundtree. Coming all the way from the East Coast, Larry Roundtree. A running back from Raleigh, North Carolina. Somebody who hopes to benefit from some of the big holes that those big offensive linemen create for him over the next four or five years here at Mizzou. Roundtree is 5'10", 183 pounds. Check that, check that. Mom just called me. Okay. She just called me. She said, make sure you get that change. It's 205. 205. Yeah, so he's been putting on weight since the end of the season. He hasn't seen 185 since his eighth grade year, she told me. Boy, we should all be so lucky, right? 5'10", 205 pounds. This is Cornell Ford. You all know him, Cornell Ford. Longtime assistant coach here at the University of Missouri. Second season coaching running back. So we're talking to you about Larry Roundtree. Mm -hmm. Millbrook High School in, in Raleigh, North Carolina. How did you track down uh, Larry Roundtree? Because Mizzou doesn't get into Raleigh very often. You know, we nationally, we tried to look at all the running backs across the country. And um, we had an opportunity to see his film, and it just kept jumping out at us. And it's like, wow, look at this kid. So we started making some phone calls. He has got the... the most unbelievable, um, affectious um, personality when you talk to this kid. Love, he loves football. He's all about ball. His mom is all about ball. His family's all about ball. He comes from a great tradition at Melbrook. And uh, we are just thrilled to have this kid in the program. He's going to be something special. It's a continuing theme this morning. I mean, kids that, that just love the game. And, and how much does that help you? Particularly, I mean, you know, you're trying to coach up running backs. They need reps. They, they need to be out there they loving the They need reps. They're going to get plenty of reps in our offense. But uh, you want kids that, that, that care about playing football and care about all the details. And uh, one, we had a conversation once of just, you know, it's interesting to talk to kids and to, to kind of find out what they know. And a lot of kids don't know the old school backs. And I go way, way back. And I'm talking about Walter Payton and, and Chuck Form and I'll call it, everybody knows Barry Sanders. Um, but a, a lot of these kids don't know a lot about them. And, and one, we got to talk because one of my favorite running backs is Walter Payton. And so it's, it, it, it's his as well. Mm -hmm. And so um, we had a great conversation. And uh, that told me, you know, this kid's a little different than some of the other guys. He's going to be, he cares about football. As we talk about Larry Roundtree, we have to talk about production. As a senior, he rushed for over 1,900 yards and 23 touchdowns to be named. First team all-conference in his league, the Cap 8, out there in the, uh, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. You know, what made him such a productive running back? Well, he, he does a great job of, of running behind his pads. He, he's always falling forward. As if you can bring him down. He's a load to bring down. Um, quick feet and runs north and south and uh, they run the football very effectively there at Melbrook. They've had a great tradition of running backs at Melbrook and um, he's going to be as I said something really really special. Remember the 2016 Shrine Bowl of the Carolinas participated in that game after that 23 touchdown senior season. You know some people are calling him the diamond of the rough for, for this recruiting class and uh, you know, you mentioned a little bit, but, you know, was there anything in particular where you, you feel like you saw and said, man, you know what, this, this is what is attracting me to this kid and, and, and makes he could be successful? I like physical football players and um, his physicality that he showed on film. He's not afraid of contact. Um, if there isn't a hole, he's going to make a hole. And uh, that I, is what I, attracted me probably the most uh, to him. And then he's got the speed to be able to, once he does break a tackle, to take it the distance. When you get him here, what are some of the first things you will uh, start to work with him on as, as you embark on your second season as the running backs coach here? Well, he loves to run the ball, but we got to work on that blocking a little <laughs> bit. And, uh, he knows that's one area, you know, we talked about and, and an area that he feels that he needs to get better at. So, and I think that's probably pretty typical of most high school backs. When they get to this level, they got to be able to block. And our, because we throw the ball a lot, one of our first goals as running backs is we want to protect the quarterback. We don't want any sacks, and we definitely don't want to give up any sacks. And so that'll be an area that we'll work with him as well as some of the other guys.